Welcome, my name is Vince. I am from Hamshack Reviews. Today I'm going to do a tutorial in N3FJP's amateur radio software for Yezu radios. The first thing you want to do is Google CP210X USB to UART driver and you want to download that to your radio. Then you want to go to your device manager and scroll down to where it says ports and click on that and you want to see these two ports. You want to get the port number to the one that is the enhanced port. It's usually on the top. After that we are going to go back to N3FJP's log and we're going to open up settings. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says rig interface. What you want to do is pick your radio model. Then you want to set the port to match your enhanced port. Mine was 13, so I got to set it on 13. Then you have to set your baud rate that matches the baud rate in your radio. Both are adjustable. Then you want to set your parity. Then you want to set your RTS or DTR to match the one in the radio. Then you want to set the mode determined by rig. Because since I'm using a rig control, I want the rig control to set that. <laughs> Over here are your data bits and your stop bits. You can set these to match what's in your device manager on the enhanced port. You want to right click on the enhanced port. And one of the selections across the top will let you set these to match. Normally they are on 8 and 2. At least mine was. After all these are set, you want to come down here and click test. And there's your frequency. You are now set up. You want to scroll down and hit done. And you want to see right here that your interface is now set up. I can turn my dial. And you will see the frequency change. Turn my dial. And you will see the frequency change. I hope you found this informative. If so, please subscribe. And ding that bell if you'd like to hear more. If there's anything else in N3FJP's amateur contact log you have a question about. Please drop it in the comment box. And I will address it. Or possibly make a video about it. Thank you and 73.